Um, Jay, do the do the introduction. Hey, I did the introduction last time. No, you didn't do. do you did, you did, Alex, do the introduction. Uh, I think I did the last time. Well, whatever. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Gaijin Smash podcast. I'm Alex, and I'm here with two of my buddies. This is Jerry. Yeah, I'm Kiko. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what are we going to talk about today, Alex? <laughs> well, uh, thank you for asking that, Kiko. Um, but a real talk. Usually, uh, we have the semi-educational uh, stuff here. So, first of all, we're going to talk about... Uh, uh, Dan, I forgot. Really? You already forgot, dude? All right. So, <laughs> These two guys can't do a proper introduction. Jerry hasn't done one like in... He's only done one, and I, and I think he uh, messed uh, up. He's uh, uh, What's uh, up? Uh, 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 you're correct. Huh? <laughs> you're correct. You're probably right. Craig? No, I said correct. Yeah, I am correct, dude. You guys keep stumbling. You're like, yeah, welcome to the Gadget Smash podcast. Uh. <laughs> 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 All well, right, so... We'll, so well, you, well, just go on full Homer Simpson. Yeah, it's like no preparation time. It's like, so, so... Tell us what are we gonna do today? It's simple. It's like it, it's simple as this. Let me let me demonstrate one last time. This is like the fifth, or sixth time that I'm demonstrating. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Guy Gene Smash podcast. The name. This is episode seven. We're on seven. Mind blown. And today we're gonna be talking about our usual three segments, which you guys should know. Segment one, new Japanese words. Segment two, some Japanese media, which includes but is not limited to hentai, um, anime, <laughs> news, whatever, and segment three, freestyle. Boom. Simple as that. So let's get started with the first segment, new Japanese words. Who wants to start? Uh, I volunteer. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh. All right, so the word I brought for you guys today is, <laughs> you guys could probably hear in the background, like of uh, me and Jerry's mic, there's some fireworks going on in the background. You guys will probably hear a couple booms, a couple blams, whatever, you know. The 4th of July is near. It's only like in three days. So the Japanese word for fireworks is hanabi. Now, when you think of the word hanabi, it's actually an easy way to remember if you're a Naruto fan. It's uh, Hinata's sister in Naruto, hanabi. Dude, I don't even know Hinata's sister. <laughs> really? Uh, All right. I, well, I don't know her name. <laughs> okay, what's hanabi? Um, so hanabi <laughs> means... Hanabi means fireworks, and the word hana means flower, and then the B is fire. So, flower, fire, because fireworks, I guess, are made of flower, uh, fire, fire, <laughs> and they look like flowers when they blow up. So, there you go. Fire, no, fuck. Flower, fire is fireworks. <laughs> Hanabi, there you go. A word for you guys, and you guys would probably hear it in the background throughout this podcast. All right, so who wants to go next? So, uh, continuing the theme of the 4th of July, there's going to be one more thing. Uh, the word, my word for today is yakiniku, where uh, yaki is uh, fried or too fried, and niku is meat. So, uh, I, you can translate it as a Japanese barbecue. Yakiniku. Yakiniku. Yeah, and y- yaki, I think yaki is more like grilled, right? Yeah. I'm not, I mean, uh, grill or fried, it's almost the same thing in this case. Okay. So, yeah, general meaning of, I guess, grilling. Yeah, so yaki niku. Niku is meat. Yaki is to grill or fry. And when you go to Japan, you hear it a lot because when you go to, like, izakayas or restaurants and shit, uh, people ask you, do you want some yaki niku or do you want some, like, yaki tori? Tori is bird, so fried bird <laughs> or grilled chicken, <laughs> like grilled chicken, you know, yaki tori. Um, what, what else is there, yaki wa? Grilled what? Basically anything uh, what can be grilled and eaten after that, they call it yaki something. Yaki so something. So y- yaki tori, yaki niku. So there you go, yaki niku, f- grilled meat, fried meat. Damn. Yep. That sounds pretty good right now, man. Izakaya food sounds pretty good right now. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, getting drunk, man. All right, Jay, what do you got for us? Ah, uh, shit. Okay, um... A little bit of, I guess, kind of slang. Probably something you should not use. Koitsu, aitsu, soitsu. Basically like this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker. 
those motherfuckers. So that's like three words you just threw at once. And for any like well, well, beginner people who are beginning to learn Japanese, they probably came here to learn some simple words and you're over here throwing <laughs> three words in their face, Jerry. Um, so you're saying that motherfucker is motherfucker. Can, can you translate well, each word it, individually? It, okay, okay. I mean, one of the first things we learned learning Japanese is you learn to say this, that, and that way over there. Which is kore, sore, are. So, uh, itsu is like person, this person, this. I don't know, I feel it's like a very, Alex, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel it's like saying like, you know, this, this, this cunt over here, or this, this guy, this guy. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, so if you want to say this guy, this guy right, like really close to me, koitsu, kore, koitsu. If you want to say that guy, the guy that's close to you, soitsu, sore, soitsu. If you want to say that guy way over there, aitsu, are. Yeah, and uh, it's not a polite way to say that. Yeah, probably not. That's why I'm saying it's casual. Probably don't use it unless it's like friends or you hate that guy. So pretty much like if um, me and Jerry are having a conversation with Alex and we're in a circle, Alex says something stupid. Me and Jay could look at each other and be like, this motherfucker, which will be the koitsu. Koitsu. And, <laughs> yeah, whatever, yeah, koitsu. And if we see someone walking past that we hate, like walking across the street from, from us, we, we could be like, hey, look at that motherfucker. You guys remember that motherfucker over there? That bitch over there? That'd be uh, a... Ah, ah, haitsu. Uh, haitsu. <laughs> haitsu. And then soitsu would be more like, I guess... You're introducing a new friend, a new friend, and that friend makes a stupid joke, and your friends say ha so it's a like this bitch or that that bitch <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's a little bit it's kind of hard to remember but it, once you guys learn are sore and kore you'll kind of get the idea yeah i think police is probably the best one to remember out of all these holy shit honestly because you can use it for like any oh is that a, can you hear the train <laughs> dude we can all hear the train dude <laughs> dude this mic is good <laughs> what do you want me to do man the windows are closed <laughs> i mean you probably hear the train on your side too i don't know yeah that wasn't a train that was fireworks guys we told you we're gonna be hearing fireworks throughout the background it's the theme train for today fireworks. <laughs> yeah anyway, right. yeah yeah koitsu is probably the number one to remember because i think you can use it in all the situations but if you want to be more specific learn the other ones but koitsu is probably your best bet all right all right um alex do you want to go through all the words one more time and translate them um, uh, we had hanabi, which is firework. Uh, another word was uh, yakiniku, which is uh, Japanese barbecue. And uh, a set of words from Jerry uh, about addressing a person. Koitsu, soitsu, aitsu. Which basically translates as uh, this guy, that guy, and that guy over there by meaning. In a, in, a, in a kind of like in an offensive way, right? Yeah, and not in a polite way. Please do not use that unless you're talking with friends. Yeah. yeah. That was very nicely put, Alex. I, I feel like you'd be like a Japanese teacher at this point right now. Yeah. You translated it like, if I told Jerry to translate it, he'll be complaining half the time. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I <t> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, all right, let's move on. Do you guys have anything new, like in Japanese media or anything um, Japanese related that you could bring to us, uh, share with us? If you guys want to have anything, I can start off because I'm the one that's the most obviously prepared here. Yeah, yep, pretty much. Uh, pretty much. So I'm going first. Yeah. Yep. It's just first. Ah, shit. Well, I guess Alex, Jerry said it. You have to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah, all right. all right so last week i think um kim kardashian uh kanye west's wife if you guys don't know her um Ooh, she I, pretty much i saw her i saw her in tokyo okay whatever so <laughs> <laughs> did, you really, did you really see her yeah well i mean i saw like her hair and, and everyone was like kind of freaking out a little bit i was like i saw a pink hair i was like huh <laughs> and I walked away, and then my friend sent me a picture through group chat and said, "Like, yo, it's Kim Kardashian. Check it out." And then I saw the pink hair, and 
was like, oh, shit. I walked by this chick and I didn't even know it. Okay, well, you know what? She's... I don't know about you guys, but, but she's... I, I, don't, I don't think she's that great. I'll put, she her, I'll put her, like, in the lower tier of uh, celebrities. She's famous for just existing. She's famous for making just sex Just existing. Tape. Yeah. Just existing, yeah. <laughs> No, she's famous for making a sex tape, which I will link in the description if you guys haven't seen it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. So, so anyway, um, anyway, Kim Kardashian last week, I think. Well, yeah, it was like last week. She pretty much released a, a new clothing line or kind of like a set of clothing. I don't, I don't know what type of clothing it is. It's for like to make your body look good or whatever the fuck. Dude, I don't know. I, I don't really care for it. But anyway, um, she named her clothing line. She's like, this is my new clothing line. It is called kimono all right oh no yeah and i think i think i think it's a play on like kim 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 you know kimono k-i-m like kind of like kimono or whatever like i think it's it's said as kimono i don't know some it's a play on her name you know but Mm -hmm. it's spelled k-i-m-o-n-o kimono so kim mono okay so like of course, like, not even, like, an hour after that, man, Twitter was tweeting that shit hard, and it was trending, and people were not happy about that. And pretty much the people that were tweeting at her were pretty much mostly Japanese people saying they were offended by um, the name, saying, like, pretty much they said, like, your bitch ass cannot take something that's traditional to us and make it your own thing, you know? Like, that's fucked mm-hmm. up, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, and other people say like, hey, you know, kimonos have been traditionally, um, you know, very important culturally for Japan. And your bitch has is taking it and pre- pretty much like dragging it in the mud because your clothing line doesn't even resemble a kimono. Whatever. Anyway, people were pissed, man. It, it, <laughs> and uh-huh. A lot of people were offended, especially Japanese people. And yeah, so an article came out recently where Kim pretty much acknowledged like, OK, I fucked up, guys. I'm not going to call it kimono anymore. <laughs> I understand the hate. <laughs> My bad. LOL, JK. Yeah, so that's what yeah. happened. Do you guys have any thoughts, comments, concerns? Well, I mean, yeah, you can't just take something that's like... I mean, you know, Japanese people see that kimono as very, very special thing to them. You know, it's very... Yeah, very strong in their culture. Very important thing in their culture. I mean, yeah. to buy one, it's like... How much was it? Like, you oh, had to spend at least, like, 300 or something. No, they're expensive, dude. They're expensive as fuck. Yeah, dude, that... 300 for what? I mean, the real kimono, if we're talking about a traditional... We're ass. talking about renting one. <laughs> oh, renting one. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, I don't know. I'm actually trying to justify that price. Because renting one is also kind of expensive. It's like... Anyway, they don't play around with those things. You know, those things are pretty important to them. And I'm like, dang... Which is understandable why she we should have so much hate on it. Yeah. But it's also kind of like celebrities like this should know like not to do stupid shit like this. Yeah. Yeah, it's like... Mm. But it, I don't know. I just... Sometimes, you know, they feel like they can get away with anything. Yeah. Like, hey, you know. So you, you guys don't hear anything about this? You guys don't see it like on Twitter or anything? No, not really. Okay, well, you guys probably... Eat. Well, all you guys do is watch him tagging trick. <laughs> hey, man, that shit's important. By the way... um, it's an interesting name, uh, Kardashian. You know who she is, right, Alex? Oh, Alex knows who she is. Like it's a, to, to me, it sounds uh, uh, like she's from Armenia or Georgia, mm. and I don't and I don't mean the state. Yeah, I don't know where she's from. I think like, you know what I'll look it up, man. I, I can't believe I'm looking it up. I don't really want to look it up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I looked this I've up. Been searching that. Do, do you guys have anything? Any uh-huh. anything you want to throw in here? Um, she is. A superstar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. She... All right. <laughs> oh, no, that's that's the name of her sex tape was Superstar. Okay. Um, where the fuck was this bitch born? Dude, I, why am I going to look at this up? Okay. Ethnicity. Are we really looking this up right now during the Gaijin Smash podcast? Hashtag oh, she's... Gaijin Smash. She, she is a... Uh, she is a third generation Armenian American, and their mother is Dutch, English, Irish, and Scottish. So America. So whatever. Armenian. She's fucking American. Okay, whatever. All right. So what do you guys got? You guys got anything new and interesting you want to throw out there? Oh yeah, it's just like I mean I think. Uh, sh- wait, are we still talking about this thing? 
<laughs> no, we're, we're talking like, about the news. Yeah, we, we, yeah. We're, ta- we're talking about whatever else you have. To- oh, I know. We're still talking about the Kim Kardashian. Okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, do you want to throw anything new out there? I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I think I got some more thoughts on this stupid topic, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have some, some thoughts. Throw them out there. But if you don't, then you can let us know what your um, topic okay. of conversation is. Yeah. Okay, I just thought that, you know, maybe if her closing line was more uh, going towards the kimono style look of it maybe working off from it and also not changing the instead of saying kimono kimono or whatever because it doesn't mm-hmm. change the name at all it could have been like a kim dash mono you know it, it would have been a bit more acceptable at that point you know yeah yeah but yeah yeah because nobody wants to search up kimono on google and then suddenly a bunch of um slutty looking pictures come up of kim's fashion line you know yeah, or like even something like Kim, Kim's Ono or something, you know, like Kim <laughs> apostrophe S, yeah. you know? Yeah, Kim's if, Oh, no. Uh, yeah, whatever the fuck. All right. Anyway, yeah. um, what do you got for us, Jerry? In hentai news. Yes. All right. Very all right, so there's, all right, so you know there's that one guy. Uh, uh, what's his name? He's one of the the anime guy, the anime guy. That's his like YouTuber name. You go, you know what I'm talking about, right? The anime man, the anime. Ah, uh, okay. Now I gotta look this up. Just search up the anime man. You'll see his Joey. Okay. I thought he was older than me. He's 24. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. The anime guy Joey. Okay, what about him? I was watching one of his videos, and he started talking about. Uh, <laughs> he's like the best hentai I've ever seen. And I was like, okay, where is this guy going with this now? <laughs> What he describes, he's like, okay, this story, it broke me. Honestly, at the beginning, it's one of those stories. You come for the, you come for the hentai, but you stay for the story. <laughs> and it broke me. I watched the end, and oh my god. It's just, it was such a difficult story. And I was like, you know, curiosity peaked, right? He even did an interview with the uh, person, the manga artist who wrote the story. And at that point, you know, you, at that point, you know, you just... You got you to gotta get the link, you know. You got to open the link and say, I got to watch, read this thing for science. It's not watchable, it's only readable. So I got to read this thing for science. So I read it. Yeah, it was a pretty um, pretty tough ending. I'll, I'll give it that. It was like 200 pages. I don't know. Not many chapters. But yeah. Any, any questions? You guys, any questions so far? Keep describing it. It's so pretty much a 10 as you're, 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 you watched an amazing hentai with a good story. <laughs> A YouTube recommended. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I def yeah, it's like um uh, how do I put it? Get to know what you're doing in your free time, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. All right. If we had, if we had that camera <laughs> okay. over here, you could see my hand. You can imagine what I'm supposed to, like uh, what I'm doing right now. I'm I don't just know. gonna tell you one thing. What <laughs> I don't know where we're going with that, Alex. Boy. Boy, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. I get that, but from the description, I don't know if the people listening to this will get that. It's like right, I'm so. discussing. Wait, hold on. I'm discussing hentai, and Alex comes in saying, "Hey, if you knew what I was doing with my hand right now," <laughs> I was like, "Whoa!" Not in that meaning. The whole thing about you bringing up the hentai. It's like, boy. Should I change the story? No, no, it's <laughs> fine. All right, so, so ha- after you watch the whole thing, Jerry, <laughs> read can't watch after, it okay after you read the whole thing jerry yes. how did you feel besides satisfied <laughs> <laughs> dude just like honestly yeah it's a pretty devastating story honestly so it's a sad story or like more like a fucking uh, more like it, it tugs at your heart throughout the whole thing you're just like i want like for this for the main character you want a better situation for them uh-huh. you want them to get out of their situation and they never they, they just keep going further down and it it is as heartbreaking honestly okay dude it's gonna like i, I can understand like if it's a freaking story like like a compelling anime story but you're talking about like an, an um anime porn here with a company story. Dude. okay okay the thing is you know hentai is a, it's a genre and most people associate it with you know oh that's just all porn but mm-hmm. it's like how do you how would you describe a freaking you know manga with some mature themes you know one that just does include you know, sex and stuff, but it's not about it. You know, it's gonna fall under hentai, but it's most hentai, yeah, it's just about porn, but 
some of them, you know, I guess, have a story. And this one was 90% story, 10% nudity. I'm, well, that's probably not a good comparison, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say All 70% right. story. <laughs> All right. So for people who might be interested in this show, uh, the anime show, anime TV series, Jay, what, what, is, what is it manga. called? It's manga. It's a manga. I, get, I keep thinking anime. Manga. People who are interested in reading this manga, this, this heart uh fuck uh st- what do you say heart tugging string there's emotional devastating it's devastating yeah there's emotional devastating anime porn that people are interested manga. In watching Man- <laughs> god <laughs> <laughs> yeah come on dude you're angering the weaves out out, out there dude dude come it's on. hot dude the fireworks are going off it's it's making me delusional all right so what, what is it called? What, I'm trying to say, what's, what's the manga, the book, the manga called? Well, for research purposes, Kiko? <laughs> well, yeah, for, for, for people who might be interested, yeah. It's called Emergence, and... Uh, Damn, that's pretty intense for a fucking <laughs> <laughs> And, yeah, like I said, I learned it from the anime man, Joey, I guess his name is. Uh-huh. And, you know, it's like, come on, it, it piques your curiosity a little bit. You're just like, huh. All right, let's see. What is this story about that broke Joey a little bit? Yeah. And then it broke me, too. Uh-uh. All right, all right. So there you go. Um, I think we might have to check it out, Alex. Dick and Ham, yeah. we're going to have to watch this TV show. You, you come for the hentai, stay for the story. <laughs> all right. And it's called, well, say the name one more, more time. Emergence. Emergence. Damn, that's, that sounds intense. Yeah. Sounds like a depressing one. All right. Alex, what do you got for us? You got anything interesting you want to share? Like, not really, to be honest with you. Really? Like, why? There's got to be something. That, what did you do this week, dude? Did you go to the store? Did you, like, see anyone interesting? So, um, I just remembered a uh, couple questions from you, like, uh, looking for the plushie toys and uh, uh, another thing, like, just checking, just checking out the. <laughs> Checking out the magazines, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just been walking around, okay. literally, just buying stuff I needed. And uh, hey, Kiko actually been saying this and this. Uh, mm-hmm. I wonder. He's checking out. So uh, number one, uh, there's still no uh, signs of uh, good quality plushies. And number two, the magazines are still there. <laughs> oh the. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, so pretty much in one of our earlier podcasts, um, I told Alex to be on the lookout for um, Konbinis, the convenience stores in Japan, because they want to stop or try to stop selling the um, their porn, their hentai and their Japanese girl porn, because they have it out in the open when you go to Konbinis, like it's just out in the open, you look at it, you want to buy one, but you don't because you're not that type of guy, but um, they want to stop trying to sell them to make it more like a friendly environment for tourists. Most likely because of the Olympics, which is coming up next year. And I also sent I also sent Alex on a mission uh-huh. to find a high quality Detective Pikachu plushie because there's a high quality one that's only in Asia, but it's really hard to buy and find because if you buy it online, most likely you're gonna get like a Chinese knockoff. So and they don't sell it at the Pokemon Center. So it's one, it's kind of like an off-brand, but mm. pretty much I told Alex if you could find it, like a good quality one, and not a Chinese one, that shit is worth a lot here because people people really want that shit. So anyway, all right, good to know, man, good to know. Like, I don't think, I think... It's not even a story, yeah, more like a, an update. Just a, just, a, just a mission, yeah. All right, so, so I kind of noticed, like, in one of our... <laughs> Well, actually, like, in some of our previous podcasts, we kind of, like, hate on Japan, saying, like, man, these fuckers are, like, Japan, like, um, the robots, and um, I'm a little bit close-minded. You, you know, it's the culture, right? Like, that's how the culture is. Like, they like to keep to themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, hey, we... The, the, con- the context is important. If we were talking about America... the words. If we were talking about American culture, you know, we say we're loud as fuck, rude as fuck, we think we own every country we go to yeah 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 americans are annoying like we americans we're annoying dude we're, we're fucking annoying in japan japan likes to keep to themselves and like that's fine you know that's it's just a culture thing like yeah it's you know, cultural I mean, Amer- differences an american like me who likes to like go talk to people if i talk to a japanese person who likes to keep to themselves it's not really gonna be, it's gonna be an awkward conversation because because mm-hmm. they're not really expecting to talk to someone random but anyway so in our previous podcast, we talk we talked a little bit about the work culture and how it's kind of like they're very very professional, 
and they go 110% with their job, but it's also kind of like, kind of, ah, how should I say it? Um, like they're being watched all the time, you know, and they have to act like robots, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it, man. So anyway, um, that was kind of like the, I guess when we talked about it, it was kind of like a downer, <laughs> I <Yeah>. guess to <laughs> say. So anyway, my question for you guys, what is something you do love about Japan? What's something you love that you miss? Like for me and Jay, what we miss and, Jay, and Alex, I know, <laughs> I know maybe yeah. Alex doesn't really have a lot, but Alex, what's something you do love like, um, compared to the States? Like something that Japan had that the States didn't, where you're kind of like, fuck, Japan was doing it right, and the States wasn't. <laughs> so I, so I, for everybody out there that doesn't know, Alex did come to the States. Yeah. And he, he really loved it over here. So my question to you, Alex, yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what does Japan have that the States doesn't, that you really enjoyed? I, I guess only one thing, like, pops out in my mind, like, like that, uh -huh. you know, instantly. It's, a, it's probably about safety. Safety. Yeah, because, uh, like, I don't know, it doesn't matter uh, where exactly you are in Japan and at what time of the day you are, but uh, you can you can feel safe here, you know? Just uh, getting used to the environment and after a little while, you understand that uh, there's nothing to be scared of in, in the night time. Mm -hmm. Well, not not too much at least compared to any other country. And the possibility that uh, there's going to happen something just randomly, it's pretty, it's pretty low. Uh, meanwhile, in my hometown, uh, I'm not letting myself uh, or m to my family getting out of the house like after I don't know 9 p.m. something like that. Working in our neighborhood, something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. In the states, well, it didn't uh, pass enough enough of t enough of time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like to actually to actually understood to feel the the whole environment. So, but I got a feeling that. There's gonna be a couple places uh, like around around the town where it's not too safe after you know I don't know eleven twelve 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 o'clock. Yeah, no, no, I definitely agree with you on that point. And Alex is right. Japan is one of the safest, if not the safest, country in the world because here in the states, like yeah, it's pretty safe here. But the normal thing here, I've already used this example before. But if a girl go out and have a girl goes walking in the nighttime like at 2 a.m 3 a.m that is not normal to see seeing a girl walking around 2 a.m 3 a.m here in the states you know what is normal mm -hmm. is for a girl to be walking with someone like a guy walking her home or another girl walking with her it was like like if they're at a party and they decide to walk home like at 2 a.m it's normal for the girl to not walk by herself but when i was in japan like you see like girls walking around by themselves at 2 a.m um you see kids walking to school and and home by themselves, crossing the city streets by themselves. Um, yeah. uh, people over there really respect each other. They keep to themselves. They're very respectful of each other's space. And if you leave like your bicycle unlocked or if you leave like a purse at the subway or something, most likely someone's going to turn it, turn it into the police because, you know, it's respect. You know, people respect each other over there. Well, that sums up. For us, man, if we see a fucking wallet, man, we're going to look at the... <laughs> I'm not saying I would do this, but, you know, people will look through the wallet, see if there's any cash, keep it, and maybe lost turn and it in the wallet. Feed. Yeah, lost and found feed. Yeah. Maybe turn it in. But in Japan, no, no, you're like, you can trust people over there. Yeah. Which is kind of hard to believe, but most likely, yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of times where I have friends lose their wallets and they just go to the police station in the, dis well, in the district they were in. It's usually there. Yeah. I'd say 90% of the time, yeah, they found it that way. Yeah, so it's one of the safest countries and one of the most respectful countries. Yeah. <laughs> like, you don't believe it, but when you actually yeah. go there, you're going to be like, fuck, everybody is really respectful. <laughs> so, Jay, what do you got for us? What do you like about Japan, man? Oh, dude, okay. A few things I miss, of course. The food was... It's hard to replace that. I mean, especially, like, legit ramen. You know, it's hard to re find a replacement for that. One of the best memories I have, Alex, Jerry, is going, even like a Tokyo man, going downtown, Sapporo, Tokyo, whatever, getting wasted, hammered at the bar, club, going home like at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., walking down the streets and be like, fuck, man, I'm hungry. Here, man, when we're hungry, we go to McDonald's. We have no other choice but McDonald's. Over there, man, you're wasted, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., you go sit down and Enjoy a big ass bowl of ramen. Yep, that's a thing. That is one of the that is 
That was one of the best experiences you can have. Get wasted and eat a big bowl of legit ramen. Yeah. All right, continue, um, James. <laughs> also, uh, you know, customer service. You know, everyone's. I feel like just everyone tries harder to, you know, just actually provide a good experience for you when you visit a restaurant or just stuff like that. And last thing is. I do, I do miss how like, you know, like how people do treat you when they see that you try. They're just like so impressed, like you know, Nihongo does it. Yeah, you know, I don't think. I mean, it gets repetitive after a while, but it's still kind of nice. It's like, oh, they, they, they do appreciate that you're at least attempting to speak Japanese or at least attempting to, you know, learn, learn, yeah, be a part of the culture. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, for me, it's kind of, what well, it is the same thing, but um, pretty much the customer service, like Jerry said, like everybody, um, they, do, they do their best to serve you, and you get so used to, like, having, like, this great customer service, and when we finally returned to America, Jerry, we went to, like, a, uh, to go eat, like, a hamburger, uh-huh. and, like, the cashier, like, here in the, you know, the States, we go eat a hamburger, and, and she pretty much said, like, oh, what do you want, and I'm, like, a number one. And they're like, is that it? Mm. And I'm like, well, I also like like a side of fries. Is that it? And I'm like, fuck, man. <laughs> this is not <laughs> customer service, man. Japan would have been like way nicer and way more professional. Like, hi, welcome to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, you like, know? would you like anything else? Like, can you get, like uh, anything else I can do for you? Like, they're very professional, man. Uh, and what else did I miss? Uh, yeah, no, the customer service is superior. Like, it's just amazing. They give, they, like I tell you, they give it 110%. Wow. Um, the food, the food is amazing. Um, the food is very, <laughs> dude, I don't know if you felt this way, Jerry, but like when we eat here, man, like we don't really have that many options. We usually go to the drive through, eat something real quick. In Japan, we have like yeah. only duty or konbini. Over there, uh-huh. man, in Japan, I try to eat unhealthy, uh-huh. but it's really hard to eat unhealthy. And I feel like I was losing a lot of weight and like gaining a six pack by doing nothing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's because the food is so legit, man. It's like the like good quality food. Mm. And it, they make it impossible to eat unhealthy. Sure. Which makes me think, <laughs> what the hell is going to be with those fat ass? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, with those people in, who have uh, been living their whole life in Japan and they're really, really big. Yeah, like, how the fuck do they get big? Um, like, what time yeah. do I want to? Like, I went to the grocery store, man. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go out. All, all, I'm going to go all out. And I'm going to spend money on, like, fucking sweets, you know? Junk food. Yeah. yeah. I get a box of, like, fucking treats. And it was, like, eight bucks for a box of treats. And I'm like, shit. But I bought it anyway. And when I opened that box up, man, there was, like, five little treats in there. And they were very small. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. It, it takes a lot of money to actually eat unhealthy. <laughs> Yeah, to, yeah, like, it's expensive to eat unhealthy, and it's cheap to eat healthy. Like, buying, like, a big-ass bag of rice is, like, five bucks, dude. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, Here yeah. in Walmart, it's, like, 20 bucks for a big bag of rice. Uh, dude, it's crazy. Yeah, but the food, the customer service, the respect, something. Yeah, something I miss about Japan. So there you go. See, we don't always hate on Japan, guys, for everybody listening out there. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, pros and cons. Hold up, we're gonna take a pause. I got, I got a, I got a call to take. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at this guy, all professional now. We got a call to take. We could put the recording on pause too. I don't know. Sorry, guys. That was my secretary. Apparently, we have some famous YouTubers who want to get on the show, but they gotta make an appointment, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I put it. Okay. We're, t- we're, cool, we're telling cool. them that they're on the back burner right now. We're not looking for guests at the moment. It was uh, it was mm. freaking uh right now like a uh, freaking uh Niga Higa and PewDiePie here calling. I'm like, no guys, we don't we don't want no guests right now. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine, dude. <laughs> wait, wait. I guess I guess we could. Do you guys have any last comments? Any other comments you wanna? So, Kiko, what are the three words and define them? Ah, fuck yeah, you, you reminded me. All right, the first word is Hanabi, which means fireworks. It's a play off the words Hana, which means flower, and B, which means fire. So Hanabi. Uh, the second word was uh, Yakiniku, which means grilled meat. And the third word, which is a combo word, because Jerry thinks he can just throw combos out there, is Koitsu, Soitsu, Aite, 
Yep. Which means this motherfucker, that motherfucker, and that motherfucker over there, or that bitch, or whatever. So those are your words for the day. I hope at least you can remember one of them. I don't think these words were as useful as some of our other uh-huh. previous words. <laughs> All right. Who wants to end it? Uh... This was a short episode. I mean, it was just a short, quick episode, man. It's, we, we would be on here for like two hours, but it's fucking hot right now. The fireworks are going on in the background, and, and we got these pictures <laughs> blowing up our phone, you know. We... <laughs> Plus, the train's fucking running uh, around. the trains, man. Uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks. Jerry's going to wrap it up. <laughs> uh, so this has been the Gaijin Podcast. Uh, we the Gaijin Smash the Podcast. <laughs> this has been the Gaijin Smash Podcast. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> where we say anime is manga and manga is anime. You know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're here to fuck shit up, man. That's all we do is fuck shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Guy just smashed that kick. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Continue, dude. <laughs> and yeah, this has been episode seven. You know, um, catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks for yep. listening. I hope you liked it. I doubt you enjoyed it, but thank you for listening. Mm. Here comes yes. another fucking train. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, yeah don't worry, don't sorry. worry. Our editor will get rid of those sounds. Get screw you. All right. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Peace. Peace.